。はい。そうですね。はい。Ray Fujita is famously known for his role on Garo as the Silver Knight Zero. But where did his career begin? At first, I was spotted and recruited as a model by the agency. So at the very first time, I didn't think I would be an actor. But one day, the president called me, and when I went to a coffee shop, I happened to meet a stage director,、uh, and he was there to discuss other business with the president. But when he saw me, Uh, he asked me to be the main character of his play, so it was just a coincidence that I started to act on the stage.、Uh, the main character he offered me was an autistic boy called Shion. Fujita's first role on television, at the mere age of 14 years old, was on *Kamen Rider Fives*. He portrayed Kitazaki, the terrifying dragon orphanok. I still remember. Clearly, how nervous I was! It was the first TV drama for me, and I felt very scared. But the other actors and people around supported me, and I learned from a scratch how to act in a TV drama. There,、so、it was an evil role, but I was a kind of boy who was attracted more by a unique bad character than a hero. So. I fully enjoyed playing overwhelmingly strong Kitazaki. What was it like balancing school studies and the filming schedule? It was extremely difficult. I missed many days in school due to the shooting. My teacher warned me, and some cl- classmates teased me. It was very hard to balance the two in the school I went to, so it was a good timing. When I finished the junior high school, I moved to the special high school where such boys and girls working in the entertainment business attend. I didn't mind changing the school, but because I enjoyed acting. Yeah. Fujita's next role would be his iconic character in the Garo series. I happened to get the information of Garo's audition, and I was interested in the role of Ray. Because his name was the same as mine, <laughs> and when I went to the audition, Yosei Konishi was also there, and he became Garo, and I became Zero. Garo is an action-packed series that required intense training.、Uh, before starting the first series, I attended an action training for a few months, and it was quite hard. My knees were wobbling and. I hardly kept standing, and I felt like throwing up. But thanks to the hard training, because I could perform Ray for the whole series. After Garo was created by Kiyota Amamiya, who is no stranger to Tokusatsu. In a career stretching around 30 years, he has worked on Kamen Rider, Super Sentai, and Metal Heroes. When I met director Amamiya for the first time. I was really scared. <laughs> Not only because he's wearing dark sunglasses, but he's a great, respected artist of Tokusatsu, and the Anemia world is original and unique. But once I started to work with him, creating the scenes, he gave me advice and guided me like a father. So I respect him a lot. And I am still learning and get inspiration from him, and his ideas are always surprising me. So I sometimes wonder what's going on inside his head. Working not only as an actor, Fujita is the frontman for his own band, Dusts. Dusts was created with two of my close friends in junior high school because we wanted to perform in a charity live concert. The school festival. After, I started to work as an actor, and I wanted to be more active as a musician too. And we held many live gigs. Then we made our debut as an indie indie band. Our first.
their single Future was an ending theme of the Moya Moya Summers 2, a variety show on TV. Then made a major debut then created Break and Peace as the ending theme of the anime series Sengoku Basara. After that went through some changes of member that we've been working on other pieces such as Spiral for the opening theme of the anime Blood Sea and recently scene number zero as the ending theme of Zero Black Blood. I love to perform live and hope to perform overseas sometime in the future. After the two-part miniseries Garo Beast of the White Knight in 2006, it wasn't for another five years that Garo returned to television. Did they consider Garo to be finished at that point? Yes. I also thought that was the end. Whenever one series of Garo finished, many thought it was the last one, but somehow the series continued and it is my great honor as an actor to be able to live in Reis for almost 10 years. Upon returning to the character in Garo Makai Senki, how did you change your performance of Rei after a number of years? Right, I changed. I changed the way to perform Rei after he became the officially appointed Makai Knight. So he grew up to be more mature and responsible because he became the good strong body of Koga to fight together. In 2014, Fujita starred in Zero Black Blood, a six-part TV series that focused on his character. I was so excited and happy to get the chance to play the role Ray again. Of course, I felt the pressure to be the main character instead of Koga, but I knew there should be many different aspects of Ray which were not described. As one of Gra Garo fans, I wanted to see such Ray in his story, so I poured all my energy into it. What's the future of Ray? Will he be returning again? Of course! In the very near future, I believe I could be back again as Ray. I do hope so! <laughs> <laughs> Are there any memorable or difficult moments about working on the Garrow movies or TV shows that you can tell us about? For example, in Garrow, the shooting, uh, standing on a tree with support of wires, uh, like that, in Garrow Beasts of the White Knight, was really physically very painful. My whole body weight was on the wire, and it was tormenting and also a long take of fighting scenes with Kohei Otomo in Makai Senki was also physically challenging. There are many other good memories and difficult ones but I always looking forward instead of looking back so I'd like to keep all these memories to cherish when I get old and retired. <laughs> what can fans of yours look to see you in in the future? The theatrical play Sengoku Basara 4 will start from the end of October and I play a general uh, called Katsuhige Shibata. So I prepare myself for many sword fight scenes. But there are more to come, so please follow my Twitter and access my homepage, please. Is there anything you would like to say to your international fans? First of all, thank you for your support. And uh, it is truly my honor that there are people watching me outside of Japan. You give me power and energy. So, I'd like to meet you somewhere in your country. So, I will keep working hard and be to become an actor and an artist invited by Overseas Project. Thank you very much.